What's up everyone, welcome to the full comparison between the latest Samsung Galaxy A52 versus the last year's Galaxy A51. I will include design, performance and camera comparisons, so you can decide which one to buy. Or this year should you upgrade from Galaxy A51 to Galaxy A52 or not. So for that, let's begin the video. So let's start with the design first. Although both phones back is made of plastic, but their designs are different. Galaxy A52 is totally plain with matte finish plastic, instead of the glossy back panel of the Galaxy A51 which has patterns on back, or I can say cross type design which bounces different colors under sunlight. Bottom half has vertical lines, and both have branding of Samsung at bottom of back. And the Samsung Galaxy A52 is IP67 rated water and dust resistant. I also did the water test of the Galaxy A52, link will be available in the iCard so make sure to watch that also. And another difference is the camera bump of both phones. Instead of separate island for the cameras on the Galaxy A51, this time Samsung sloped up the back of the Galaxy A52 to meet the relatively flat camera bump, which helps it sort of blend into the rest of design. No doubt Galaxy A52's camera bump is bigger in size than the Galaxy A51 but it looks very nice and premium. I like the new design of the Galaxy A52. It feels solid in hand and more premium than the Galaxy A51. But everyone has its own choice in design. I like the back design of the Galaxy A52 because of its simple plain back which gives it mature and premium touch. And next differences are dimensions and weight. Galaxy A52 is little bit big than the Galaxy A51 and weight of Galaxy A52 is 189 gram. On the other hand, weight of the Galaxy A51 is 172 gram. And on the bottom of the both phones, there is headphone jack, USB-C port, mic and speaker. On the top, Galaxy A52 have noise cancellation mic and SIM tray, while SIM tray of the Galaxy A51 is on the left side of phone and has only mic on the top. Right side of both phones have volume rockers and power button, while on the left side, Galaxy A51 has SIM tray. But the left side of the Galaxy A52 is totally clean. Both phones sport dual SIM, but on the Galaxy A52 you will need to make choice between the second SIM or extended storage, while on the Galaxy A51 you can enjoy dual SIM functionality along with extended storage. And on the front, both phones have Infinity O 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with 1080p resolution. And the Galaxy A52 has fast 90Hz refresh rate than the Galaxy A51's standard 60Hz refresh rate. And even the Galaxy A52 5G variant has 120Hz refresh rate, which makes the display of Galaxy A52 winner. And not only that, the Galaxy A52 has protection of Gorilla Glass 5 than the Gorilla Glass 3 on the Galaxy A51. And Galaxy A52 has 407 pixel density, while the Galaxy A51 has 405. If we talk about quality of the display, Galaxy A52 is better due to the 90Hz refresh rate. But brightness of the Galaxy A52 is little bit more than the Galaxy A51. Here you can see the difference, both are on maximum brightness outside. And on both phones there is on display fingerprint sensor. On testing, Galaxy A52 mostly unlocked first and on few attempts both were unlocking at same time. And same for the face recognition, on few attempts Galaxy A52 unlocked first and sometime both unlocked at same speed. And the front speaker is bigger in size on the Galaxy A52 than the Galaxy A51. So no doubt in design and display my choice is the Galaxy A52. And now let's jump to the performance section by looking at the N22 benchmark scores of both phones. Galaxy A52 has overall more scores than the Galaxy A51. And not only that, Galaxy A52 has more scores in CPU, GPU, memory and user experience. And now let's do some practical work by doing speed tests of both phones instead of relying on numbers just. Let's start with the reboot test and see which one will boot up first. I have 6GB RAM variant of the Galaxy A51 and the 8GB RAM variant of the Galaxy A52. Both have the 128GB of storage. Samsung Galaxy A51 has Exynos 9611 chipset which is built on the 10 nanometer process, while the Galaxy A52 has Snapdragon 720G which is built on the 8 nanometer process. And the boot up win goes to the Galaxy A52. And here you can see both phones are connected to same Wi-Fi and no app is running in the background. Okay, I'm starting with the Facebook first. Galaxy A52 launched the Facebook app first. Next is Chrome. 
and Chrome loaded at same time on both phones. But Galaxy A51 loaded the page first. Next Play Store and as expected Play Store loaded first on the Galaxy A52. Not only that, Galaxy A52 loaded Instagram and YouTube first than the Galaxy A51. On Snapchat, winner was again Galaxy A52. And both phones loaded WhatsApp at the same time. And on Messenger, A52 was winner. And now let's test few games also. I'm starting with the Subway Surfers. And as expected, Galaxy A52 won here also. And not only that, Galaxy A52 loaded PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 first than the Galaxy A51. So the speed test winner is the Galaxy A52. But keep in mind I have 8GB RAM variant. So make sure to get 8GB RAM variant not the 6GB. But I was surprised when I checked the graphics settings of the PUBG game. We can play on the smooth graphics at extreme frame rate. While on the Galaxy A52 on smooth graphics we have only ultra frame rate there. And we can jump to the HDR graphics on the Galaxy A51. But on the Galaxy A52 we can only jump to the HD graphics. And in the Call of Duty Mobile everything was opposite. We can play on the high graphics at high frame rate on the Galaxy A51. While we can play on the very high graphics at very high frame rate on the Galaxy A52. Max frame rate is also available on the Galaxy A52 but only on the high graphics quality not on the very high graphics. Overall gameplay is good on both phones. I saw no lag and gameplay is smooth. And now let's dive into the cameras of both phones. So for that first let's put some numbers on the table. Galaxy A52 has quad camera with 64 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro and 5 megapixel depth. And the Galaxy A51 also has the quad camera with 48 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide. 5 megapixel macro and the 5 megapixel depth. And while checking the camera samples, one thing I noticed that the Galaxy A51 oversaturating in both wide and ultra wide shots. And on the other hand, Galaxy A52 tried to give us the natural colors, not oversaturated and not over brightness. On few images, at first glance, quality of A51 will look good due to the oversaturation, but not all the time. Here you can see. This oversaturation will give touch of unprofessional added to your images. On the Galaxy A52, you can get natural colors and then you can add it if you need to add some saturation to your images. Other than that, sharpness and color tone is very good on white mode of both phones. But in ultra wide, we lose some sharpness and colors also. You are the judge for the ultra wide. In portrait mode, on both phones, edge detection on rear camera is pretty good. Here is the 2x zoom shot on both phones. And on some places outside in sunny day, Galaxy A51 gave us some darker colors. Here you can see. While the Galaxy A52 gave us balanced good colors. And here is the macro shot. Galaxy A52 performed good here also. So yes, camera of the Galaxy A52 is good than the Galaxy A51. What do you say about it? Please let me know in the comments below. And the both phones can record videos on 4K at 30fps. And on the Galaxy A52, we can also record video on 1080p at 60fps. But on the Galaxy A51, we have only option of 30fps for 1080p. If we talk about video quality, video quality and colors are a little bit better on the Galaxy A52 than the Galaxy A51. One thing I can say, focus of Galaxy A52 is really impressive and fast than the Galaxy A51. Here you can see also. And both phones have night mode. No doubt at first glance you can say night mode of Galaxy A52 is really really better than the Galaxy A51. Although in ultra wide it's not so impressive but it's better than the Galaxy A51. Here you can see more samples. Even 
even in the extreme low light galaxy a52 performed good provided good details and less noise so definitely in night mode winner is the galaxy a52 and now let's jump to the front camera there is 20 megapixel selfie camera on both phones in selfie camera both phones performed good and equal perhaps in few shots galaxy a52 performed good than the galaxy a51 both phones have wide and ultra wide available for the selfie camera but edge detection of the galaxy a52 in portrait mode is very impressive than the galaxy a51 here you can see above my ear galaxy a51 missed that spot while the galaxy a52 performed really good Hi everyone, I'm recording with the Samsung Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy A51 at the same time on the setting of 4K at 30 fps. So you can get clear idea about quality of the video and the audio also at the same time. Okay, I'm recording in a sunny day, um, very uh, good day today. So you can get uh, idea from this sample about the front camera of both phones. So. Thank you for watching. And next, if we talk about battery, we have 4000 mAh battery on the Galaxy A51 with 15W fast charging. While on the Galaxy A52, we have 4500 mAh battery with 15W fast charging. But Galaxy A52 also sports 25W fast charging if you can afford to get 25W power adapter separately. And now, final question is that, should you buy Galaxy A51 or Galaxy A52? My answer is you should get Galaxy A52 without any confusion due to its good design, better performance and camera. And if you are thinking to upgrade from Galaxy A51 to Galaxy A52 then it's good idea because Galaxy A51 brings good upgrades like IP67 rated water and dust resistant, fast 90Hz refresh rate and even on the 5G variant we have 120Hz refresh rate, better performance and camera plus a new beautiful good design. So if you can afford and thinking to jump to the Galaxy A52, then bring it home in the black color. I really loved its black color. Which one is your favorite one? Please let me know in the comments below. So this was the head to head comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 versus the Galaxy A51. If you found this video helpful, then please like it and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.